Boker Tov, we continue with the three minute daily dose of Torah, looking at the pregnancy of Rivka. And uh, we looked at yesterday and, and the day before both at the uh, Ramban and the other commentaries, but here I want to focus in more on the Vayit Rotot Su and, and the Midrashic reading that the, that the, uh, the children were struggling about within her. Um, and Vayit so Rotot can, can mean indeed that they were wrestling which is crazy. How do babies wrestle in a womb? And the answer is, as the, as the prophet tells her, oh, you should know, um, you know, they, these are, these are uh, you have two nations in you that indeed are going to be in conflict with one another. And so um, what, sh what happens, what, what the Torah has done here in a powerful way, said that it didn't begin outside of her, but it actually began um, earlier. It began it, it, even in, in utero, uh, the struggle Okay, that's one reading. Here I'll read you the Midrash, quoted in Rashi. Uh, for, uh, it says the Midrash, Al Karchacha ha Midrash omer darsheni. This Pasuk begs for interpretation. Because it does tell it tells you that they it was Vayit Rotatsu. It doesn't tell you what that means, says Rashi. And and, and then and she says, Why in Kain Lama Zanochi? So here's what the Midrash says. Rabbitano Darshuhu. <coughs> Lashon Ritza. You should read this phrase not as struggling and wrestling, and as we said first. But rather, this is uh, describing running. When she would pass by the uh, study hall of Shem and Aver, who were the children of uh, Shem, being the son of, of Noah, Avram wasn't the only monotheist in the world. This was two, he had little, had little shtibel. The two of them had a little base medrash, and they taught about monotheism. So when she would just walk by it, Yaakov, um, was rushing to try to get out. And when she would pass by Petach Avodah Zorah, she passed by some doorway of idolatry, Esav Mifarches, let's say, so then Esav was struggling to get out. That is, um, that is quite interesting. Um, and again, it's, it's powerfully puts into, into, in, into the developmental moment for these two children, their future, that uh, Yaakov would be indeed the monotheist, and Esav would be the idolater. Well, not pin down exactly which nation is, is defined as the idolaters of that. That, that is Esav. But uh, that's the experience that she has. So here's one uh, drash on top of the drash. So she, 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 she's, she feels this happening. And, and yet, she says, so and here's, and here's, right, here's the drash. She says, Okay, I have a child who, want, who who's struggling to go to the Vesa Medrash, to the study hall. Isn't that beautiful? But then a minute later, she passes by the, the place of idolatry, and, and there too, the child seems to be struggling to get out. She can feel that movement. She, know, she knows the interpretation. They're struggling to get out. And so she says, I don't get it. Oh, my God, I have a child who's so confused, so confused. He wants both monotheism and, and, and God, the God of the world, and he wants the idolatrous ways. Oh, in Cain, Lama Zanochi. If that, if I have such a such a messed up kid who kind of wants all of this at once, um, what? It's not worth it. Oh my God! Right? That they should be so conflicted religiously, and she goes to seek out from God the answer, and God says, "Don't worry. It's not that there's not a multiple personality issue here. There are two different children. One is one, and one is the other. Now, why that makes her happy that she has one idolatrous son inside of hers for another, but at least." I'm not dealing with someone who is completely all over the place in their spiritual world. At least they know where they're headed. Isn't that true? We sometimes just with peace that uh, for people that they should find out, find out where they are. It doesn't mean they're going to be happy with some decisions, but to be in the, involved in the circ in the endless circular con conflict that's almost worse. As one drash on this Rashi is teaching us and reminds us of ourselves. Have a great day.